Hi! I'll make a chaos here again with another interesting deck profile. This time it's Cyber Dragons. It's actually a really old art type played by Ryo Morofuchi in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime or more known as uh, Sane True Truesdale. So and it, it's going to get uh, new support in the structure, structure deck and it comes out in uh, February uh, next year, the TCG. Uh, so let's go to the deck. First is uh, one Cyber Eldrin. Basically, you banish uh, all light machine types on, in the graveyard and on the field, and then it gains fire attack for each uh, uh, monster banished this way. And it, when it's better summoned, you basically send all other face of monsters on the field to the graveyard. It's a really nice boss monster and a game finisher. Uh, I first played two of this but uh, um, one is enough in my opinion and it's pretty searchable in, in this deck uh, thanks to the new support. Then of course the three Sarah Dragons, the, the, the main card of course. Then the new card in the structure deck, which comes out in the structure deck, it's Cyber Dragon Tray, basically it's when you get this kind of normal summoned, um, or Cyber Dragon's uh, levels become 5, and you can only plus one machine type monsters when you activate this effect, and if it's, it's got kind of vanish, you can basically protect your, your one from Cyber Dragon from being destroyed by battle or card effects, and basically it bunk this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon on the field in the, and in the graveyard. So it's a really nice card for your exit summoning like combos, but it has a restriction that you can only summon machine types when you activate the effect. So then to Cyber Dragon's Y, it's a pretty decent card, not uh, that great, but uh, it helps like uh, uh, because it's a Cyber Dragon when you reveal a spell, or, and it's also Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. It helps if you have your fusion summoning combos. Then, free Cyber Dragon Core, um, another card which comes out in the structure deck. Basically, when it's normal, so you can add any cyber or cybernetic spell or type card from deck to your hand. And if, uh, if you control, uh, if your opponent controls a monster and uh, you control the monster, you can, someone, you can banish the discard from a and pick person on one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. And it also is a Cyber Dragon on the field and, and in the graveyard. And then free Cyber Valley, basically for uh, stall and uh, throw power, if you can do it. Then to Solar Windjammer, it's a light machine and it's like a Cyber Dragon, except uh, you can also spell someone when your opponent doesn't have a monster. So it definitely helps. Then to Chromary Golden Jet. You might think, what is this string here, here? because it's not a Chrono Valley deck, but it's actually really good in here, because it's a light machine and you can make it level 5. So it definitely helps if you are rank 5 summoning. And then the last monster is one Honest, because all the monsters in here are basically light. So yeah, and you find, and this deck is basically a mix of uh, rank 5 and uh, the Fusion or the They are basically the two main variants that are played and I kinda mix the two. So spell cards, free cyber repair plant. Basically if Sour Dragon is in your graveyard, activate one of these effects. And if you there are three or more, then you can activate both, but mm, they are add one light machine tap from your deck to your hand or they add one light machine tap in your graveyard and so that are to the, the deck. Most of you can to activate the first effect of course because you can basically search uh, or almost any card in your deck, except Honest. So it's a really nice searcher. Then two power ones, basically. And auto K power card. Basically it's on your Summer Dragon Fusions. But it has a, like, it can backfire because you have to take damage in the end of the turn. Then one overall fusion, plus on your, uh, your fusions on your King of the Hover Dragon to finish the game. And two Ancient Fusion to help with your Exist Summoning combos. 
volumeter we want to make a sack of the key. Then why the spell guard is evolution powers, basically if you have Sabadragon on the field, you can destroy one card the opponent controls and Sabadragon cannot attack this turn you activate this card. So it still helps if you basically destroy a problem with the card the opponent has. Then Freemus Pistaphon to help to destroy your opponent's back row. And then one dark hole. Then the draft cards are two sub network. It's a really good card in here, basically. Destroy this card during your standby phase, first the standby phase after activation. Once per turn, if Sour Dragon is on the field, you can banish one light machine type monster from a deck. And this card is, when this card on the field is sent to your graveyard, but someone has many, banish light the machine type monster as possible. And if you do, destroy all spell trap cards you control. Those monsters can activate the effects, you can't control your path phase to turn, you activate this effect. So basically, like, uh, return for different pension. And uh, yeah, it definitely helps with your summoning, but yeah, it's a really good card. And it's also searchable by Tavadan Core, of course. Then, to a different dimension, of course, it's really broken, and because you banish a lot in this deck. Then, Swallow Warning and 2 Fiona Chain. Then, the extra deck. Once I have a dragon, mostly you're going to summon it uh, with uh, some dragon Nova, but uh, sometimes you can summon it with uh, Power Bond if you have three Cyber Dragons. Then two Cyber Twin Dragon, really good. The main monster you're going to summon with Power Bond, basically it can attack twice. Then give the Hover Dragon if you want to summon it with Overlight Fusion. Then one came out the Fortress Dragon. If you need a Peter or and it's also really good in the mirror mods. The main weakness of this deck is that it loses to itself exactly because of this card. Because it uh, basically can also send uh, machine types uh, fusion materials from the uh, opponent's field. Then two Sour Soros because they are instant vision targets. Then Xyz monster Savera Nova, really good card. So it requires two level five machine type monsters. Once per turn, that's one Xyz monster. Then plus one Savera in from a graveyard. And then during either spread, either spread's turn, you can banish one Savera from a hand or side of field, your side of the field. And this card gains 21 higher attack when the end phase. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by Opponent's card effect and plus on one machine type monster monster from the extra deck. So it's a really good exit monster in this deck, but yeah. Then the other rank 5s are number 61 Voxels, because I have ladies, because yeah, because there are mostly lights in here, and Tina's Giver of Genesis, Shark Fortress. Then the two rank 4s are number 101 Sandwars Arc Knight. Get rid of problematic monsters. And then one Stalin Spot and Dynamo. Basically for the same to negate the opponent's effects and it's all a really good Xyz monster. So this was my Cyber Diamond Tech profile. I'm definitely looking forward to that and the Cyber Tech will be released in February next year. So hope you enjoyed this tech profile. Oh my god, chaos. Out.